Good morning, guys. Welcome to Saturday. Welcome to Crazy Town. It is Crazy Town. I don't even know when Sam's gonna cut the grass. Life is life is rough right now. It is rough. Do we have connectors? I literally need to cut the grass <laughs> again. How do you have time to cut grass when it's so weekend? All right. So uh, Gabby's been in the barn. Wow. That looks clean. <laughs> All right. So we have wool. Do we have? We have gold glitter. Do we have our braiding kit? All right. So oh, no, I said I'm done as and I give up. Oh, well, let's go. We got to go, Gabby. I actually feel like crying right now. <laughs> I thought she was down here packing everything up. I was. I was trying to organize it. We need more light. It didn't work. Yeah, I'm right. I'll help because. Oh. <laughs> what is that? It's the stuff to make the horses so black. All right, so I'm going to tell you guys this really quick and then I'm going to help her. It is. <laughs> A nightmare. We uh, literally, you guys, we left you guys yesterday. Chino had no shoe. Uh, we found a barrier to come and help us. Why do we have a chain? I'm dad. Blame it all on dad. So um, then last minute he had an emergency. He can't help us. So we almost had to cancel the show. Then I woke up this morning on Saturday morning, the day before the show, and I was able to find another farrier. I got help finding another farrier who can just put on a shoe. So we're back in. So... We don't know what's happening. I don't know if God's trying to say, Laura, don't go to the show. Or if God's saying, I'm making you work for it. Learn to handle adversity without freaking out. Because I am a freaking out kind of girl. But we're just going to keep going until God gives me a definitive sign. Should we not go or should we go? So we're going to pack up now and get ready. We didn't pack up yesterday because we didn't think we were going to get to go. And so now we're behind. So one thing I've learned for sure, for real, for true, is that no matter what's going to happen, it's going to happen anyway. Like no matter what's going to happen, it's going to happen. You just have to accept that, realize that, understand that, and that everything that happens is for the greater good of you and your life and your journey. There are lessons to be learned and this is how it happens. And so we're just going to not freak out and keep going and plan for the best and hopefully it works out. All right, what are you doing? What exactly are you doing, are you Gabby? I could use those those things that you have there for the chicken coop. Don't waste them. Gabby's making handcuffs. Why the heck are you making handcuffs? That should have been my I've first seen question. It on self defense things. Oh my. Where they like you do that and it breaks when you have zip tie. All right, so this weekend is not not going well. All right, so that's sad. We don't need that ever again. Zip ties, I need those. All right, that's it. That is our pack job. Because we just realized we do not know where our half pad is or our show pad is. What do we do with this? <laughs> I don't even know why there's a chain. Put it with the electricity cords that your dad had in there. This is all still packed from champs. All right, so we have a show pad. I don't know why it's missing. Some viewers long ago said, always make sure you have some of this stuff so i am bringing some because you never know what you're gonna need open it all right sit on it I got so the, tra the trailer can be cleaned tonight when we get home and readied i don't think it really has to get cleaned it just has to get more shavings in it because we are taking two horses which actually i wanted to tell you guys Oh, it's not bad. The plot twist. All right, I hate this. This is the only thing I hate about this trailer. And the reason is this. Like, I love this trailer, except for this thing. Because it's really difficult to move it because it's above my, it's above my shoulders. Does that make sense? Oh, look at that nice fly mask. Oh, my golly. What the heck? There you have it, and I didn't even wash them, so I'm gonna have to do that today. I actually just found something so close to my heart, you guys. I found Main Delight sent us these amazing ribbon cookies last year for Chance, and we didn't use them all because she sent us so many. I love that. I'm gonna bring them. I just love that. 
In fact, I should donate some of them to our horse show at our barn. Also found some antibiotic lotion. And these are what I need. And I don't even know which one is the one. Holy heck. Oh, and there's a saddle pad back there. Honestly, it happened again. She's like, why are you not leading me where I need to go? You got that camera out again. But it happened again, Penny raced to the gate. By this point, they know the drill and they know like, we eat grass for a while and then we go in the nice shady arena and relax. And I think that they like their rest from the field. Like I really do. Like the fresh water. Did she run from you? No. Somebody was saying that they really preferred when Willow ran every time. All right, you guys have a good rest. They're dirty, they need a brush. The other day I saw this young girl commented on our TikTok, I think. It's always TikTok, TikTok is toxic. Commented on our TikTok and said, oh, you take terrible care of your horses because they're all dirty and dull. And it was in the middle of shedding season. And I'm like, hmm. Okay then, <laughs> it's just so funny. Like, people just say whatever they want to try and make you feel bad. And the truth is, I used to be like that too. Like, I used to, my self-esteem used to be wrapped up in if I fit in, if I follow all the social protocols that people set to make you fit in. And the problem is when you do that, you can never feel good about yourself unless you're better than someone else. And it's called bad self-esteem or low self-esteem. The really big problem with living that way is that it is really hard on your spirit and hard on you because no matter how much you try and no matter how much you make yourself only look perfect and act perfect and say all the right things when you're in a social situation, it will always, you will never ever be good enough when you want, when your self-worth comes from what other people think of you. It has to come from within inside yourself and it's not anyone's fault when they are in that stage and their self-esteem comes from what other people think of them. It's because of how society is set up and it's what we're taught and it's what how we're raised oftentimes. It's hard. It makes it such a long journey for some people to get to the point where their self-esteem and their self-love comes from inside of them and not from outside sources. And so when I read that comment, I totally understood that that young girl is just at a different stage right now than I am and that she doesn't know better. But what is really amazing is how we all have the ability to change and grow and become someone different. And like I said, I was exactly like that girl before. My kids are not that much like that. They are a little bit, but the homeschool has really helped and me already being past that stage has really helped them. Yeah. And that's what happened to me. I learned, it took me a long time to figure it out, but I learned that when I got my self-worth from what other people felt about me and thought about me and how they judged me, that it always made me feel bad. And that when I judged other people the same way, it always made me feel bad inside. So I decided to change and it's been a long journey and it's still hard, it's still a struggle, but it is so worth it. So the next time you feel judged or someone says something so off the wall, crazy, to try and make you feel bad about yourself so that they can make themselves look better, I want you to remember this speech and remember that it's okay that we're not all at the same spot in our journey at the same time. Everybody's lo learning and growing and becoming who they're meant to be and it just takes time. Before I forget, we are on our way to the barn, but before I forget, uh, one of our day fam members fell down the stairs or fell through a doorway and broke her leg and uh, you guys know what it's like to have horses and a farm and be busy all the time and then suddenly you're laid up in bed. I certainly know what that feels like. It can be hard on you and uh, you just want to be busy and be doing all the things you need to get done and you're stuck. I always believe that when, go when things like that happen there's always a reason and there's a reason to rest and a reason to that God wants you sitting still. So remember that, but, but I just wanna wish Katie a really 
fast recovery so she can get back to her little farm and all the things that she wants to accomplish. So yesterday when it was raining, uh, the girls and I, well Gabby and I scoured, whoa, scoured the field for Chino's shoe. And we never found it. I don't know, but they found one. I found Ashley and I was walking and I We've lost it for a good couple of seconds. I'm like, oh, I found it. Oh, I don't think this is it. It's dusty. Yeah, this is not it. But it did rain. It's what it Hasn't is. Hasn't know lost a couple shoes there? Yeah, this is one of his. <laughs> I'm sure it one is because it's so yeah. super tapered. And... Yeah, this is, I don't know. Well, the nails look new. Let's see. Anyways, welcome to show prep, you guys. Welcome to show prep, which is gonna be complicated. If he, oh my goodness, Chino, he's still mad to be away from his girl. Like, look at him. His whole body is just shaking. Like, I've never seen him like this before in my life. And somebody said he's just a normal horse. And yeah, he's totally just a normal horse. This is normal for horses, but this is not normal for Chino. He never acts like this. Look at him. This is what he was doing yesterday. Yeah, he's like, help! I need to get back to her. Who will keep her safe? <laughs> yeah, you're losing the girlfriend very soon, Chino, because this is not cool. He's never been herd bound. Yeah. Like not, not truly herd bound. Yes, to Lily and Gidget. Yes, that's true. Only with girls. He's only herd bound with girls. Thank you. He tore off a part of his hoof, ripping off that shoe because he was running wild. If you're just tuning in now, Yesterday, three days ago, Chino got separated from a mare in his field and he went crazy, was running around like a lunatic, ripped off his shoe. So it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but he's really fussy about how shoes are put on him. So, are you gonna help me? so we're gonna see, we're just gonna wait and see how he is. He seems good, he seems completely sound. He's been amazing this year. I hired a braider. It only took this long, but we found a braider that will come and do his braid. I don't know what's gonna happen for tomorrow. All I know is that we're hoping for the best, Chino Bambino. <laughs> He's like, I just want my girl. We really should have pulled his mane because it's so thick. So cut it first and then we'll pull it. So when we had the professional braider at Champs, his hair was this long, literally that long. But I don't think that's gonna happen today. <laughs> we're just going for it. Dude. No, you gotta not hold them. Stay still, Chino. We don't want you looking rough. Horses are hard, but you guys, we have a backup. We have a backup plan and we have a twist, a plot twist. So I'm gonna tell you guys the plot twist and the backup plan. Our plot twist, you guys, is we get to show Chino, and then the plot twist is that Gabby is showing against Brandon. All right, whoa. Here's the, this. <laughs> you almost gotta be a hairdresser to have a horse. What's plan B? Riding Finn. Plan B is riding Finn. So it's either gonna be Chino against Finn or Gabby riding Finn. And you know what? Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen anyway. It's not gonna be fun going to bed early today. Yeah, we are going to bed early. I'm gonna send Gabby and Sam back together to do final show prep with the whole team. Like there's a show team here. They're at the show today already because they're showing other horses today in the jumpers. I think jumpers is on Saturday and hunters is on Sunday. Oh, so we're at Trillium right now. They're at Trillium right now. So I might like go home, edit, get everything done I need to get done. I need to pack some lunches and even though we'll be home by lunch. And then, cause on show days, you guys, we all go to bed at like 8.30 at night, all of us. Even Gabby, even Sam. Cause we have to get up at 4 a.m. We have to leave at 5 a.m. Okay, so this thing is a guinea. So I don't know if guineas are all over the world. It's a guinea. I love them. They're adorable. They eat so many bugs. And they just travel around. Sophie says that when they lay down, they look like a rock. Is that even true? Yeah. I was walking by, I'm like, oh, there's a rock. And I stood up and I'm like, what the rock? <laughs> there's a, another one, a different color. They have like these really funky, color patterns. They're like these light, light ones or these dark ones. And so he says, they look like rocks. 
So the reason I like them is because they travel around and they eat stuff. I wouldn't want them traveling at our house though. That's why we don't have them. But they sleep in a tree. Like they sleep in the trees and they scream this crazy sound, which is kind of annoying unless you like that sound and I like that sound. So I definitely want guineas one day, but not at our house because I like live guineas, not dead ones. <laughs> we look out and all we see are eyeballs. <laughs> It's because there's a girl. There's a girl. So we just got the most amazing package from a Painted Ponies Horse Treats. And Sophie is freaking out excited. It, we got, I love how they wrapped it all, but we got these little tiny cupcakes. Some bunnies. And we have another bunny. Another oh, bunny. So much stuff. They're so cute, you guys. This is pony friendly. And that, I'm assuming, means it doesn't have like all the sugar on it. That's adorable. And we have hearts. And they are so adorable. My favorite by far is this beautiful sunflower. I'm keeping that for my sunflower. Hey. I call the sunflower. Oh, I thought that was a daisy. Oh, or maybe it's a daisy. I'm bad with flowers. Daisies are, um... Ah, uh, watermelons. Look at the price, though. These are five bucks. Daisies are white. Sophie's favorite are these hungry, hungry hippos. And it comes with the hungry hippo. And then the little balls. A whole bunch of little balls. Uh, dino snacks. Adorable dinosaurs. And so, Cadbury, not so many eggs. These are all five bucks, you guys. That's ten. five bucks. Oh, the hunger, hungry hippos are ten. And then, oh, that's five. Yeah. Ah, uh, absolutely adorable. I love it. Thank you so much. Painted. Yeah. Thank you so much, Painted Pony Horse Treats. We're gonna take one of these treats right now and see if our girls, how our girls like it. Sophie wants okay, to. What one do I want to do? Sophie wants to keep these for the mare or I for the boys. These ones for the girls. Yeah, the heart. Smaller. All right. And all right. It's pink. Let's do it. Painted Ponies hooked you girls up. You're getting a heart, Penny Pickle. Do you guys know? If you're new, you might not know, but Penny has a ginormous. Wait, let's see if you can see it. A ginormous heart on her back. These are Whoa. perfect size for Willow. All right, these are perfect size for Willow. Willow's like, okay, I'll just have one. Okay, here you go, Penny. Painted ponies. Dirty ponies. Penny's been rolling. <laughs> Willow's like, I'll have two. Good girl. These are the perfect size. Penny she likes them. Take a bite. <laughs> Penny take likes a bite them. Willow likes them. Let's give Gracie one. They're probably going to follow us now. Gracie! Come see what we got for you. A painted pony's heart. All right, do you want to try one of the other ones? All right. So Sophie also brought down the pony friendly ones that are good for like I metabolic love, horses I love probably these and ponies. Because it really bothers me when I have to rip this, but you don't have to rip it. Wow. You're crazy girl. You're crazy. Okay, you'll get a flower. A flower. She's like, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Painted Ponies, for the amazing box of horse treats. You guys should get them fast. I'll put a link to their Instagram in the description box Where below. Get them fast now because they're only $5. I don't even know if that's her permanent price. But $5, you cannot get treats like that for $5. And they're super cute. And Willow's getting a bunny. Willow's like, give me all the, all the treats. Uh-oh, here comes Penny. Yep, you were right. They're following us. Anyway, that is it for today's video. <laughs> Penny says, I'm coming with you. You got painted pony treats. <laughs> She's trying to tell the other ponies to go away. They're all for her. But anyway, that is it for today's video. Are we leaving these Yeah, out? leave those here. We're going to leave some of those treats here. I chose the two smallest ones yeah. for them because yeah. they don't really need that much. Yeah, Sophie wants to keep all of those treats for her boy, her they skinny boy. Bad. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Sam is going to take the camera back to the barn to go with us, Gabby, to do the show prep tonight with all the group. Figure out who exactly she's riding. You guys won't know until we know. Like, none of us are going to know until tomorrow who she's going to ride. Either she's going to compete against her trainer with her other horse or she's gonna ride her other horse, which is a whole different situation because we've never taken him to a show. So, 
Yeah, That's it. Good. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Pray for us and pray everything goes smoothly. But one thing I know for sure, it's gonna go exactly the way that it's meant to go. We'll see you guys later. Don't you know that you're beautiful?